from 1, so this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, so from 1 we get x1 should be smaller or equal than 30. Now from 2, how big can be x1 in order not to violate the in, uh, positiveness of x1? Huh? How big can be x1? Well, so from 2, x1 is smaller or equal than 12. And finally, from the third equation, uh, how big can be x1? 9. So x1 should be smaller or equal to 9. Because all of these uh, have to be satisfied, we conclude that x1 should be smaller or equal to 9. And now we act in a greedy way. I push x1 all the way to 9. And so in initial case, initial assignment, I had x1, x2, x3, x4, x5. And initially, we had the first three variables equal to 0, and uh, x6 also. Then uh, x4 was uh, uh, 30, x5 was 24, and x6 was 36. Now instead, what I'm going to do, I'll set x1 to 9. If I set x1 to 9, what x2 and x3 and x6 have to be equal to? If they are all positive, they all have to be equal to 0. Because this, if it's non-zero, it will exceed 36. Right and uh, uh, x6 will be negative. So this means that uh, x2 must be equal to 0, x3 must be equal to 0, x4 uh, is uh, then how much? x4 is, uh, uh, this is 0, 0, this is 9, 30 minus 9 is uh, uh, 21. x5, uh, what is x5? Well, this is 0, 0, this is 9, this is 18. 24 minus 18 is 6. And x6 is uh, uh, 0. Right? And what is the z value? z value will be uh, let's see, where is my z here? This is 0, 0, and this is 9. So this is 27. Yes? Sorry? X1. X4. Sorry, which one? X4. X4 is, uh, uh, X4 is 2 times 9 is... Uh, oh, so this is... 9, 30 minus 9 is, uh, I don't know how I got this value, 30 minus 9 is 21. Thank you. And the value, so you see, this combination of variables keeps everything OK, but the C value increased. Now the trick is, because I can no longer increase x1, I will solve this equation for x1 in terms of x2 and 3 and in x6, replace, eliminate x1 everywhere from the constraints and from the objective, and then try to push other variables up. And I keep doing that until all of the coefficients in the objective become negative, and consequently, you uh, you cannot increase the uh, the value further. Are we out of time? Huh? Yes. Okay. So uh, we will continue next time. Please, uh, the notes are on the website. Uh, please read them.
little photo to show that we can um, quickly finish next time and then start doing applications of linear programming uh, uh, just to show you how they work.